Hey, if you're online looking for how to be a pilot in the Air Force, um, I, I don't know. I don't know that I can speak precisely to the Air Force. I was a naval aviator. You can see behind me. Uh, I got my helmet there. I got a model there. I got the the um, F-18 Hornet uh, lithograph that my wife had made for me when I finished up uh, flight school and got selected to go fly Hornets for the United States Navy. And I can tell you that if you want to be a pilot in any of the armed forces, there's going to be a couple things you're going to need to do. With a couple of exceptions now, the Army will allow you to fly as a Chief Warrant Officer, but that typically requires you to go through the enlisted ranks and do some other things and eventually pick up that program. So we're going to leave that discussion to the side for right now. And we're going to focus on maybe you're in college right now, maybe you're young and you're in the workforce and you're thinking you want to do something different. Um, whatever the case might be, if you're looking to become a pilot in the Air Force or in any of the armed services, first things first, you're going to need to have a degree. Uh, from that degree, now you're going to have to go get a bachelor's degree. Okay. Uh, you can do that in, 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 at a university, you can go to one of the academies, you can do the ROTC program at university, you can do it however you'd like to do it, but out the back side of that degree now you're going to need, need to get a commission. Okay, That makes you a commissioned officer in the military. And when do you get that commission now by either, um, like I said, going through the ROTC program at your school, going to one of the academies, or going to regular college, doing your thing, doing what college kids do, right? And then when you're all done, uh, you can go apply, go see your officer recruiter for whatever division of the service you want to go into, and then you're going to need to go to officer candidate school for that uh, branch of the service, okay? And officer candidate school is usually a you know, 10 to 15 week program that, that is like boot camp for officers, okay? Coming out the backside of that, you'll have a commission in the armed service of your choice. And now that you have that commission, you can now focus on becoming a pilot. And they're gonna ask you what kind of job you wanna do and from the very beginning now, take this as my advice, from the very beginning you need to tell them you want a flying contract. You don't wanna do anything but fly. If you're not gonna fly, I don't wanna do it, okay? Now, look, if you don't mind doing something else in the service, then great, don't, don't say that. But I mean, truly, if your goal is to become a military pilot, you wanna say that from the outset, from the get-go. Because you wanna to try to leverage your involvement in the service to get that flying contract. And, and if for some reason you don't make it through flight school or something like that, you may not want to continue to stay in the service. So you want to give them, you want them to give you a guaranteed flight contract or get out of jail free card if in fact that's really what you want to do. Um, and then flight school is going to be about a three year process. Uh, between going through flight training and then actually going to the unit that's going to teach you how to fly, the aircraft that you're going to fly operationally, and all that takes place. And So before you kind of set foot in the cockpit of an aircraft as a full-fledged pilot in that aircraft, it's about a three-year process. And then it's kind of on-the-job training for another three to six years, depending on your platform, before you are a fully qualified first pilot in command sitting in an aircraft that you can call your own. Um, that is, is a... Is a a fairly arduous process. So really that's that's how it goes. You know, I did 20 years uh, in the United States Navy. I did about 15 of that in the F-18 Hornet, um, as well as doing some other jobs, because in the Navy, you know, you do jobs flying and some not flying and that kind of thing. Um, but right now I'm actually transitioning out uh, and I'm going into doing online marketing, e-commerce marketing. I absolutely love it. I'm having such a great time. People think I'm crazy, right? They're like, you flew jets, man, and you like doing stuff. I'm like, I love doing this. Um, if you want to learn more about that, you can click on the link below. It'll take you to workingwithbrian.com. I'll give you a little bit of inside information on what I did after my flying career. But you know, if, if your goal now is to become a military pilot, got to get to school first, got to get a commission, and then you want to make sure that you negotiate for a flying contract. And that's the best advice I've got. If you want to leave me a comment below the video, if you have any questions, I'll see if I can get back to you, give you some more specific advice. Good luck.